Hey everyone, so today we are here to just add another milestone in our journey of force and laws of motion by answering this one very intriguing, interesting, strange question. What if a one rupee coin fell from the top of Burj Khalifa? Then what is this? What kind of question is this? No, that's not the intent. It's okay. But why? Because you know what? There is a lot of news which says that it could be lethal. And let's understand first of all why it could be lethal, why we believe sometimes it could be lethal. Let's see. So, let's start first of all. Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. It's in Dubai. It's 828 meters. And just to give you a rough idea, I'll tell you, it's about 11 times taller than Qutub Minar we have in Delhi, right? You can imagine how tall it is. Age 28 meters. Fine, fine. All right. Wow, that's good. But if I drop a coin from the top of Burj Khalifa, what will happen? If you drop something, what do we say? Force of gravity is acting on it. How much g is acting? That is the acceleration to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. The coin would fall as, gra as force of gravity acts on it. But by Newton's second law of motion, the force acting on a body accelerates it means the coin will start accelerating, means its speed will keep on increasing. The coin would speed up as it falls. All right, nice. So, <clears throat> I can just use my basics of equations of motion. If I say u is zero, why? Because it's drop, right? So, we can say, use this equation of motion, v squared minus u squared equal to a s, and u will be zero, right? Because it's dropped, fine. How much will be the g? 9.8 meter per second square, because that's what we take on an average on Earth, right? So 9.8 meter per second square will be the acceleration to gravity, fine. What will be the v? We'll find it, all right, yes. S, the height of Burj Khalifa, we know it, 828 meters. So we have all the variables to apply this equation, right? We know height is 828, we know u is zero, we know, or we are about to find v which is our intent, fine. Acceleration to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. And what next? Simple. Apply all the values, no? V square becomes U square plus 2AS, U square is zero. Two into A into S. What value comes? If you just simplify it, it comes about to be 127.4 meter per second. The number might not give you that big of an idea, sir. How fast is this? Looks fast, but how much? You know what? How fast is that in reality? It's equivalent to a bullet fired from a gun. A bullet's average velocity, we just say it's about 120, 125 meter per second. Means, now you understand why we're saying this dropped coin could be lethal, right? Then why isn't, why isn't it lethal? Because intuition tells us that it's not lethal we just don't know the answer. So let's talk about the answer. Why it is not lethal? Because, is it true? Can this coin drop can kill someone? If the velocity is equal to a bullet, it should. But still, our intuition is telling us something is some, that we are missing. What is it? It's that gravity is not the only force on the coin. What else is there? Just one small part we are missing, which is creating all the difference. It is the air, the atmosphere in between. The coin is surrounded by air and it faces an opposite or upwards frictional force from the air, which is called drag, right? Because when anything just falls, we know air also pushes it back. That is what we are calling as a drag force, the frictional force of air, right? Nice. All right. So just recall Quickly, what is drag? It is the friction by air. If you want to experience it, if a car is moving faster and you just take your hand slightly out, you will realize your hand is just, you know, you can feel air forcing your hand to move backwards, right? Okay, which is more drag force. But if you just turn your hand like this and air is going like this, you are not able to feel that much of force. You can just wave your hand nicely, it glides and glides. Be careful while doing this. It's not a good habit. It's not, it's not safe to just take your hand out of the car. But just for science purposes, you can try it a small thing. Yes, okay. And another example which you can try at your home is 
the crushed paper falls faster means less drag force if you just drop an a4 sheet of paper it'll just go like floating correct if we crush it right mass is still the same weight is still the same but now it falls fast means drag force is less so from these two learnings we can understand one simple thing drag depends on speed and shape so let's talk about the coin again so what's happening with coin a one rupee coin is very small and light as, as it starts from rest initially the drag force is very less compared to gravity okay means speed will increase why because force of gravity is pulling the coin down and that's why initially drag force is less because speed of the coin is less but slowly slowly the speed of coin will increase but as the coin accelerates speed increases and drag force increases too and there comes a point that drag force becomes equal to the force of gravity as the speed of coin keeps on increasing the drag force keeps on increasing and there comes a point when drag force becomes equal to the force of gravity or or weight of the coin we can say right the force with which gravity is pulling this coin correct nice now what this force up this force down both are equal balance forces net force becomes zero means no acceleration means whatever you velocity you have it will remain constant it's what you call as terminal velocity net force becomes zero and the coin keeps moving with the same velocity law of inertia first law of motion you can say that right yes net force zero constant velocity nice coins velocity becomes constant this is what we call as terminal the final it's it, it's not able to increase more than this the terminal velocity so the thing is that coin reaches its terminal velocity in just around 15 20 me meters only and the velocity is just around 6 meter per second not 127 meter per second as we calculated because we were missing the drag force so that's why this does not look that lethal anyways wind is also there no coin is not necessarily go just fall down it might just go here and there with the, because of the wind also right so after the first 15 20 meters the coin's velocity becomes fixed at 6 meter per second and this will not hurt you much it will it will not be lethal we can say all right what if the coin was heavier all right see the drag you know does not depend upon mass but force of gravity increases with mass means it will pull the weight more i could say right now now what it means it takes much longer for the drag force for the ba uh, to balance the gravity now if downward force is more upward force needs to be equal to it it will take time right so that's why if the same coin was a 1.5 kg its terminal velocity would be around 120 meter per second again as fast as a bullet and this is lethal that's why let's answer this one question and I want you to answer the comment section would the coin reach a terminal velocity if it was falling in vacuum let's answer this and give us your comments in the comment section if you like this video if you think this information is something which you can show off to your friends and we helped you with this like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel because academics we all do this is something it's a cherry on top we like this too right so make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see each other again in the next video with again same excitement till then take care bye, -bye.